Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video of Zach Wright's Code. Today we're going to improve on our last video where we got our markdown pages being served using PHP and Nginx. But one of the things you'll know right out of the box when using it is that any code blocks you write are not high syntax highlighted out of the box. And we'll do a quick demo of that just to show what it does look like. Simple hello world. Save. Refresh. And you can see it's there, but not highlighted. Doesn't look pretty. If we inspect it, we can see that it is in fact uh, marked up the way that it needs to be marked up in HTML, but not highlighted. It's really simple to add. There's some highlighters you can use just Googling syntax highlighters. Uh, but the one that I really like to use is Prism and it's at prismjs.com. And they've got different themes you can choose from, different plugins you can use. It's actually quite full featured. But the nice thing is, is when you come into the download page, it gives you all of the options so you can build exactly what you need nothing more, nothing less. So in this case, I'm going to keep it the Okaida theme, which I like, keep it minified. I'm going to keep the uh, basic languages here. And I'm going to throw in at the very bottom here, PHP. They've got lots of plugins you can play around with. Check those out. Lots of things you can play around with. Uh, and then down at the very bottom, once you get it all done, gives you a box on the left that shows the code and a box on the right that shows the code and a couple of buttons to download. We're just going to go ahead and download them. Head over to our tiny file manager, pop over into parse down and upload prism CSS and prism.js. Uh, yes. Okay, and then we're going to update our parse.php file to include that uh, CSS and JavaScript. So on the very top of the file, we're going to link in the style sheet for prism.css. Parse down slash prism.css and close that. And then at the very bottom, we'll pop in the script source equals parse down slash prism.js. Save, refresh, and voila. There it is, folks. You've got syntax highlighting on your markdown. Catch y'all later.